Hi Cancer, this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot and welcome to your February 2017 monthly tarot forecast. This is for Cancer Sun, Cancer Moon, and Cancer Rising signs. So Cancer, if you are looking for additional guidance aside from the monthly and weekly tarot forecast that I offer here on my channel, please head over to either Facebook or Instagram and follow me there because I do draw and upload a daily Oracle guidance card every single day. And of course, if you are interested in receiving a private reading from me, please head over to northeasttarot.com and read about how I offer my private readings. I am. I do have um, the decks that I'm, I'm using for this reading listed below in the description bar. Okay. All right, so the overall energy for the month Cancer is the Seven of Wands. Okay, now this isn't automatically a, a negative energy by any means. Uh, the Seven of Wands is what I call that warrior spirit. So for some of you, you know exactly what it is that you want. For some of you, you absolutely could be um, ready and willing to fight for whatever that is. But this is you standing firm. This is you coming through very strong Cancer. Uh, definitely having a lot of energy, having a lot of strength, a lot of courage um, and a lot of passion so for some of you you know exactly what it is that you want and this is you standing firm you're not going to budge you're not going to back down and you can see here that this person has the advantage there's a lot of wands coming at him but he's on higher ground so as long as you stand firm with what it is that you want cancer as long as you don't back down you will be successful with whatever this is so for some of you, you might feel a little defensive. You might feel as though you want to defend yourself. Um, that's just a possibility with this energy. Um, but right at the center, this is a very interesting spread. Right at the center, now this is energy that you're going to experience right at the start of February. And if not, maybe you're experiencing this energy when I'm filming this and this is at I'm filming this at the end of January. So we have the Eight of Swords crossed by the Knight of Coins. So the Eight of Swords is that mental energy. So for some of you, this is maybe you dealing with some confusion around a particular matter. The Eight of Swords is also a restrictive energy. So for some of you, maybe you feel... <sighs> You know, you might have a lot of anxiety, you might have a lot of concerns or worries. You very much might be in the mind thinking about something far too much with the Eight of Swords worrying unnecessarily. So for some of you, maybe you're nervous, maybe you're scared to move forward, uh, maybe you're just simply confused, you could have some anxiety. Uh, so I see many of you dealing with this energy and it's around, it could be around an earth sign individual, this could be a Virgo, Taurus or Capricorn, or maybe some sort of maybe financial offer with the knight of coins this could be this could be either an energy where things are moving forward very slowly this is a forward moving energy but the knight of coins is the a much slower pace forward moving energy so we could have some uncertainty maybe for some of you you're fearing the worst there's some confusion and maybe it's because things are only moving forward very slowly with the knight of coins but with that being said the knight of coins is always successful he always reaches his goal now this also could be pertaining to an offer maybe this is an offer for a new job maybe there's some cancers that you're you're waiting on an offer on maybe to move up within the company that you already work for something could very much be up in the air with this energy here um, but you're not backing down so that's good with the seven of wands here you know you're not going to back down but some of you right at the start of the month is maybe dealing you're maybe dealing with this this sort of energy here now at the foundation we do have the two of coins so for some of you previously, maybe you had to make a decision and this could definitely be on the, on the financial front or relating to business. Um, so for some of you, maybe you've had to make a decision with the two of coins. You could have been trying to make a decision. You could have been going back and forth, weighing the pros and cons when it comes to something. Maybe it was an offer that came through. Um, but I do have this kind of uh, feeling that like maybe if something has come through, it's maybe on hold right now. Um, but for some of you, this could have been a decision that was very significant. Maybe you needed to make a decision or maybe a decision was very significant. Now, the two of coins can also represent for some cancers, you, you juggling. You certainly could have had a lot going on. 
You could have been multitasking. You're maybe trying to, you know, juggle one area of your life with another, uh, juggle multiple projects. Um, so there could have been a lot going on previously. Um, for a very small number of you, this was perhaps you juggling romantically. This could have been some sort of love triangle or something like that that was going on for a very small number of you. Uh, it is a general reading, so I do have to address it um, if it comes up. We do have the Three of Swords in the recent past. So for those of you that were juggling, this could have been a very difficult situation involving three people that you were dealing with here. Uh, the good news, though, is this is behind you, Cancer, if that's how you're relating to these energies. Now, uh, with the Eight of Swords here, for some of you, you're nervous. This is you scared, maybe scared to leave a person behind, scared to leave a relationship, uh, scared to definitely let go. I'm getting that for some of you who, who can relate to these energies in that way. Um, with the Knight of Coins here, this is a very cautious um, knight. He likes to move forward very slowly. So for some of you, that's, you know, that this is your energy. Uh, this is you planning things out, planning out the details, very, very cautious. So you could be cautious of the, the new person that you met, or for some of you could be nervous to maybe leave the person you are already with behind. Um, for some of you, that's how you're relating to, to these energies. Um, with the two of coins at the foundation, the three of swords in the recent past, and the five of cups crowning you. Uh, for some of you, it's almost like you are, you know, afraid to let go with the five of cups here and, and the eight of swords. Um, you know, for those of you who aren't relating to these energies in that way, the three of swords can be some sort of dif disappointment. And I can see this uncertainty. I can see this confusion. And I think that for those of you that are relating to this on the business front, this is definitely something work-related or some sort of offer or decision that maybe you're waiting on. And with the three of swords here, this is this can be definitely heartache, but this can be disappointment as well, feeling mentally exhausted. So for some of you, you were dealing with this more challenging energy in the recent past, but the good news is now with the Seven of Wands, you're coming through fiery, very passionate, a little bit more aggressive, um, and you're leaving this energy behind. Um, you know, the only real caution I have for you, other than this Eight of Swords here, is uh, the Five of Cups crowning you. For some Cancers, you might feel depressed, absolutely, yeah, for a very small number of you. You're still very disappointed for some of you. Um, this is even maybe a loss or some sort of heartache. Uh, you could have ended a relationship. You could have ended a relationship as well um, and this could be you dealing with some depression some heartache some sadness or even regrets for some for some cancers this can be regrets as well now for other cancers um, for those cancers that are waiting on something financial that are you know you've been dealing with some challenging energies um, with this maybe you've been struggling to try to make ends meet financially and this is you know something that's taking its toll on you um, with the five of cups it can be a more pessimistic energy it can represent you know crying over spilled milk or, or, or looking at the glass as though it's half empty instead of half full you know this person here is very focused on what they've lost or focusing on the negative focusing on what has taken a long time to manifest or what is taking a long time to manifest and they're completely um, forgetting about these other two cups that they hold here so there's still something to look forward to there's a reason you know to there's a reason to to be hopeful here and to keep the faith and so i think that for some of you you need to change your your point of view you need to change your your perspective here um you need a more positive perspective um because the energy will shift for you it's going to improve uh coming up around the second week we have the knight of cups now energy wise the knight of cups is forward movement this particular knight doesn't move as quick as let's say the knight of uh, the knight of wands uh, but he certainly moves quicker than the knight of coins here so for those of you that were dealing with some more stagnant or very slow moving energies right at the start of the month this could be things now picking up here 
um, with the Knight of Cups. He he moves a little bit quicker than the, the Knight of Coins here. Um, and I generally see the Knight of Cups as, as someone moving towards um, that emotional abundance, that their happiness. So this is very positive energy-wise. Now, the Knight of Cups can, of course be another water sign person that's significant around the second week or this could be an actual offer that's coming through so this could be an offer that's coming through it can be an offer of love but not necessarily this could be an offer that's coming through that's exciting or, or something that's going to make you very happy around the second week uh, this can also be because cancer you're a water sign person this could be you presenting an offer to someone around you it can be an offer of love, but not necessarily. So for some of you, you could be presenting an offer to someone. And in the position of your power, if that's the case, if you are presenting an offer to someone, we have the Six of Wands here. So that offer will get accepted, or if an offer is coming to you, you will accept it. And this is going to make you feel amazing. So the Six of Wands is you feeling quite successful, feeling accomplished, feeling proud of yourself. This is, uh, for some of you, you having a lot of confidence at this time. So, you know, like I said, things are going to turn around the second, the third week. There's definitely something to look forward to. Um, I can see that you've been dealing with some challenging energies, but the good news is they're behind you, okay? So just keep standing, um, you know, tall, hanging in there, you know, not backing down, you know, because it's, it's serving you well. Um, the Six of Wands is success. This is victory. And then in the position of how those around you are viewing you, we have the Four of Wands. So this is really, really nice. So for some Cancers, you certainly around this time, the second, third week, you could be spending more time with friends or family. Um, this can often represent like some sort of celebration that's, that's taking place or family gathering. So there could be like some sort of family gathering or party that's uh, significant around the third week of the month. The Four of Wands, generally speaking, speaks of stability and security and longevity. Um, so maybe this offer that's coming through for some cancers, if this is like, let's say an offer for a job, this could be a job that maybe you're go going to work at for many years to come, or it's going to add a great deal of stability or security to your life in some way. It's also going to bring in a lot of happiness. Uh, so this is really, really, really positive. Now, for those of you that this is an offer of love, this Knight of Cups is probably someone that you already know, and this is um, maybe an offer of marriage. Uh, for a select number of Cancers, this could be an offer of marriage. Um, if not, this could be, uh, for some of you, you could be actually committing. You could be taking your relationship. For those of you who are maybe just dating someone or already involved with someone, you could be actually committing or taking your relationship to the next level. So this is really, really good, especially on the romantic front, but also uh, for some of you, I feel like this is relating to either a home or a job. So something on the financial front, this is very positive. Now in your hopes and fears, we have the Ace of Swords. So for some of you, maybe you, you want to use this sword. You could be hoping to use this sword to sever ties from that. That's no longer serving you, absolutely. Wanting to free yourself from just any sort of negativity, absolutely. Um, but the Ace of Swords is victory. You have two cards of victory here in this spread. This is victory after going down a very long road with lots of challenges. So for some of you, you're hoping to be successful. This is you also maybe hoping... Um, Hoping for clarity or maybe even the truth when it comes to a particular matter, wanting to cut to the truth of the matter, um, and, and, and wanting that, that clarity or that enlightenment when it comes to a situation. Now, you're ending uh, the month of February, going into March with the energy of the Seven of Coins. Now, the Seven of Coins is not negative by any means. Um, this is you working very hard working very hard and you have a lot to look forward to so for some of you you're planting seeds and yes maybe you have to wait to reap those rewards from those seeds that you're planting financially but this is you know this is you having a lot to look forward to those seeds are going to sprout and there's going to be a lot of abundance um, and a lot of rewards that are that are going to come to you for for that hard work that you put in 
This is you planting seeds for tomorrow, investing in your future. Now, for a very small number of you, you could be looking at a situation. You could be reassessing a particular situation within your life. Um, and, and really maybe determining if you want to move forward with something. Now, for some of you, that's on the financial front. And then for others, you know, this could be, you know, within your personal life. Um, but I do feel like for many of you financially, um, maybe this, this Knight of Coins or this Knight of Cups energy, um, maybe this is a decision financially or a decision from maybe the company that you, you work for. This could be effort. Now, if you don't work for a living, um, you, you might have like some sort of project or something that maybe you're waiting on here. But overall, I, th I see it being a very positive month. Yes, I can see that for some of you, you've had some challenges, but again, you're leaving that behind. And I feel like the second half of the month here, Cancer, is very positive, okay? So the second half of the month is really, really positive. And you have some sort of success that's coming through here. Maybe for some of you, an offer. For some of you, this could be, this could definitely be an offer of love. I am pulling you now an additional Romance Angel card, focusing on love and relationships for Cancer for February 2017. Cancer. What does Cancer need to know in regards to love and relationships for February 2017? Okay, wow. <laughs> Very nice. So the additional guidance card that I have for you, Cancer, is Law of Attraction. Relationships and activities that you once enjoyed are now changing as you become more sensitive and aware of energies. So what you think you attract. So for those of you who are really feeling quite down with the five of cups or thinking pe pessimistically, you really, really need to change that. This is why we have tower readings because you can change this energy. For many of you, you can eliminate this energy. It's just a simple minor arcana energy. So law of attraction. So remaining positive, doing good th deeds and, and thinking good thoughts because that energy is going to come right back towards you. And then on the love front, we have soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. <laughs> so for some of you, if this is an offer of love, I feel like this is a person that you already know. For some of you, this could be a person coming back into your life or... This could be a, a, an offer of love that is coming to you around the second week. If you were questioning uh, this person, this is a confirmation that this is your soulmate. And if you are Cancer already in a relationship and everything is going well, um, yeah, this is your soulmate. So enjoy each other in the month of February. Um, you guys actually could be growing closer Um in the month of February so so this is really nice so again the second half is going to be um, much lighter and, and really positive for you okay cancer so uh, I do hope that you found this reading helpful and I do want to wish you a very happy Valentine's Day and I wish you a wonderful month of February take care